Well, state lawmakers want to ban driverless trucks from the highways. News 8's government reporter Gary Berquist explains why both sides say it's a safety issue. The bill would prohibit autonomous tractor trailers from driving on Indiana's highways unless a licensed human operator is on board. The bill's author says the technology is still too new and too many things can go wrong. Driverless vehicles just stopping abruptly, uh, Wi-Fi overload that will cause them to stop. They don't respond to emergency vehicles. Um, there is also an issue with the sensors uh, that could possibly be covered by some sort of debris. Lawmakers have filed identical bills in both chambers. Both versions have Republican and Democratic co-sponsors. The bill just ensures that there's a CDL trained driver in the semi so that if something were to go wrong, uh, they would be able to take over the vehicle and control the vehicle in those situations. The California Department of Motor Vehicles has tracked crashes involving autonomous vehicles for the past 10 years. Officials there have counted 370 crashes to date in which an autonomous vehicle was driving without human input. There have been no fatalities in California and few serious injuries. Serbian researchers analyzed those numbers in 2019. They found autonomous vehicles were more likely to be involved in rear-end crashes, but most of those happened when people driving conventional vehicles hit them. Autonomous vehicles were less likely to hit pedestrians or T-bone another car. Autonomous vehicles have a 360 degree view of all of the realities around them. They are able to make decisions far faster than human beings. They are able to see things that humans are not able to see, whether through bushes, through trees, around corners. For these reasons, autonomous vehicles will make America's roads safer. Farah calls the bill a de facto ban. He says lawmakers should instead develop regulations to guide how autonomous trucks could operate. It's very unfortunate at a time when Indiana is obviously a logistics, transportation, and manufacturing leader. Autonomous trucks are going to solve an array of supply chain challenges. Once that regulatory framework is set up, then we can move forward with not having drivers in those vehicles. But I think this is something that probably needs to be controlled more from a federal level than a state level. And this is just a way to protect our citizens in the state from having these incidents occur until the regulation is in place. As with any other legislation this session, Ledbetter's bill faces a short window. The session begins on Monday and is scheduled to end no later than March 14th. I'm Garrett Bergquist for Wish TV. WishTV.com and like us on Facebook.